We're going to take you to Rio now. With the woman they're calling right there, Simone Biles, the greatest gymnast ever. She's dominating the Olympics, leading Team USA to a second straight gold medal. And Amy is there for all of the action in Rio. Hey, Amy. Oh, I was. What a night at the pavilion, George. The final five winning gold and worldwide praise as Simone Biles showed unbelievable power, athleticism, and poise. And this morning, the superstar is sharing how she beats the incredible pressure and her favorite way to celebrate. That is an Olympic gold medal winning moment. This morning, the U.S. women's gymnastics team is waking up with gold with Simone Biles dominating the women's team competition as the only U.S. gymnast competing at all four events for the final five. Exhibiting both explosive power and rock solid confidence along with her obvious sense of joy. I always get a little bit nervous once I get up there, but I know that if I just trust in myself that it'll be a good set. I know what I've accomplished. Um, there's still, it's just the beginning, but um, I'm very excited for it all. As she tumbles her way into history, now Today, even featured in this Tide Pods Evolution of Power video. It means the world to us because the evolution of gymnastics has changed so much, and I'm just really proud. So what are her gold medal secrets to success? First, enjoy the ride. You can still be very uh, good at what you do and have fun. You don't have to be serious all the time to do a good job. Never give up. If you ever have like a mistake, try to forget about it because if you carry that um, with you for the rest of the routine, then the rest of the routine might not go as planned. So you just kind of shake it off and you just continue your routine like you didn't fall. <laughs> trust in your squad. We always have each other's backs um, in and out of competition. We support each other the most because we, we're the only ones that knows what it feels like to go through what we do. And so we can't be more thankful for each other and we're like sisters. And after you give your all, treat yourself. It doesn't even matter if I don't win a gold after every meet I have pizza. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> A girl after my own heart there, and Simone is just getting started. All eyes on her to see if she can become the first female gymnast to win five golds at a single Olympics. Her competition is on Thursday, but later today, it's the men's turn to show what they have in the men's all-around finals, George. Another big day coming up. We're here now with someone who knows something about winning gold medals at the Olympics, Dominique Dawes. Welcome back. You're part of the Magnificent Seven, yes. 1996. Now you have the final five and Simone Biles. So I said it at the beginning. Is she the best ever? She is really the most dominant gymnast I've ever seen, not just on the female side, but male and female. The tricks that she's doing, you would never think that a gymnast would do a two-and-a-half twister vault. Um, you would never think that a girl would be doing a full-in, full-out and a double layout half with a jump after called the Biles. She is just spectacular and I think this new scoring system has helped her become so dominant and I expect her to win the all around as well. All of them is, and, and you're uh, starring with her in this new video. Tell us about yes, it. Yes, it's so funny. It's exciting. I'm turning 40 this year to have the opportunity to work with amazing Olympic sponsors like Tide Pods. It's great that they're focusing on the evolution of power in the sport of gymnastics. The last 40 years, starting with Nadia Comaneci, then myself in 1996, and now with Simone Biles. And it's all about celebrating how these amazing athletes have uh, accomplished such great feats. It's incredible what they're doing, also striking what they wear, these leotards here. Tell us about the whole process I, of how they come up with these. I love it. You know, there's um, they have wonderful sponsors with GK as well as with Under Armour. I love the fact that for these Olympic Games, they took a more patriotic theme. In the past, they've done like hot pink and stuff, and it's just beautiful. I do think they went crazy with the bedazzler machine, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, someday we'll probably see this in a museum. One of my Olympic leotards was in the Smithsonian oh, no Museum. Kidding. And they've taken it out, and they'll probably replace it now with one of Simone's leotards. Well, maybe you'll get to take your kids there to see it I someday. definitely will. That'll be, well, last night, my, my little daughter, Tatiri, woke up in the middle of Simone Biles' uh, floor routine to watch it, see that they won, and she went right back to sleep. And so it was just hilarious. Just wanted to be reassured. Let's talk a little bit more about Simone. Still just 19 years old and I was just watching her and listening to her thinking she has such maturity. Yeah, and she should, because many gymnasts are at the Olympics when they're 15 and 16 years old. My first Olympics, I was 15. So she's got a little bit of an edge over most of her competitors out there. I mean, Lori Hernandez is only 16 years old. Mm -hmm. So mature, uh, her maturity shows. Uh, but more importantly, she's constantly smiling. She's having a great time. Um, she looks very relaxed. But, you know, if you were that dominant, you might be a little bit more relaxed <laughs> as well, too. I mean, it's true. last night the girls won by nearly eight points. 
eight wow. points. Just a killer in gymnastics. I mean, they killed, they killed it. I mean, they could have had taken one, two, and three if we had a, three different teams. The Americans are so dominant these days, and that really has to do with Marta Caroli's uh, leadership and um, her fearlessness and her, you know, kind of uh, intimidating the girls a little bit. And so I love this name, Final Five, which is all about Marta Caroli. Okay, Dominic, thanks very much. Well, I want to tell you one thing. Uh, at the end, um, Simone always likes to celebrate with her pepperoni pizza. So, Michaela, <laughs> I thought we would celebrate We're too. Gonna celebrate too. Right. Yes. Yes. Welcome back, Michaela. We're going to yeah. celebrate. <laughs> Yummy. Right. There we go. Only trying it out. But we'll try a little bit too. You want a little Good more? morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> a little breakfast. Yes. Right? Breakfast of champions. Yeah, of course.